Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and we are still in Chapter 8, and today I'm going to give you a little tutorial with predicting decomposition reactions. And a little disclaimer before I begin, for my regular chemistry students, <clears throat> you're only responsible for breaking apart binary compounds, but for my honors students, you are responsible for all the special reactions. So, we're predicting decompositions. The five types of reactions, recall, are combination or synthesis, decomposition, which is what we will talk about today, and then single, double replacement, and combustion. And the others were all covered in tutorials. So, for decomposition reactions, and remember, these usually require energy in some form, so they usually take place in the presence of heat, light, or electricity. So for a binary compound, you're just going to break it apart into its elements. You always have to be mindful of the diatomic elements and be mindful of recognizing the so-called special reactions. And then finally, always balance the equation to make sure that we are um, adhering to the law of conservation of matter. So example one, decomposition of a binary compound into its elements. So in this case, we have uh, mercury two oxide decomposing. And whenever you see this little symbol delta, it means heat. So that's uh, one of the ways you can recognize a decomposition, actually two of the ways. One would be that there's only one reactant and the second thing would be noticing heat or light or electricity, some sort of a catalyst. So we're going to break it into its two elements, in this case, mercury and oxygen. Uh, mercury is monatomic and oxygen is diatomic. So mercury two oxide is going to decompose and we're going to get mercury, which is a solid, and oxygen, notice it's one of our diatomics, O2 is a gas. And then going back and balancing, since there's two oxygens on this side and only one on this side, we would put a two in front of mercury, and that's going to result in a two in front of mercury on this side. So two mercury two oxides will decompose with heat to produce two atoms of mercury and oxygen. So now for some special reactions decomposition of metal carbonates will yield the metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. Example here, calcium carbonate. You're going to get two products here, calcium oxide and CO2. And the decomposition of metal hydroxides will yield metal oxides plus water. And here our example is calcium hydroxide to yield calcium oxide and water. And those of you who have watched the synthesis tutorial will recognize these as the reversal of some of our special synthesis reactions. So example two, the decomposition of a metal carbonate to yield the metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. So here I'm using magnesium carbonate and it's going to decompose with a little help from heat. And we're going to form the metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So remembering that magnesium has a charge of plus two and oxygen has a charge of minus two, our metal oxide in this case, hint hint, binary ionic compound would just be MgO. So magnesium carbonate decomposing with heat to produce our magnesium oxide and CO2. And magnesium oxide is a solid at room temperature, and CO2 is carbon dioxide, and it's a gas. Example three, the decomposition of metal hydroxides to yield the metal oxide plus water. So here, calcium hydroxide is going to decompose with help from heat. We're going to form the metal oxide and water. So uh, calcium is a plus two metal, group two. Oxygen is going to be a minus two, so when we combine them, the binary ionic would be CaO plus two minus two cancel out. So the decomposition of calcium hydroxide with heat will produce 
calcium oxide, and water. More decomposition reactions that are special. The decomposition of metal chlorates to yield the metal chlorides plus oxygen. So here we have the decomposition of calcium chlorate to produce calcium chloride and oxygen. The decomposition of acids would yield the nonmetal oxide plus water. In this case, carbonic acid will decompose to produce carbon dioxide and water. So example four, decomposition of metal chlorates to yield the metal chloride <coughs> plus oxygen. So potassium chlorate will decompose with heat and form the metal chloride and oxygen. So KClO3, which is a solid at room temperature, will decompose to produce KCl plus oxygen. Example five, the decomposition of acids, which yields nonmetallic oxide plus water. Here we're decomposing sulfuric acid with heat, and it's going to form the nonmetallic oxide and water. So H2SO4, again aqueous, will decompose, and we will get sulfur trioxide, which is a gas at room temperature, and water, which is a liquid. So to summarize, when you're predicting decompositions, usually in the presence of heat, light, or electricity, you're going to break apart binary compounds into the elements, being mindful of the diatomic elements. Remember Brinkelhoff. <clears throat> and then you're going to look for and be mindful of the special reactions, the five special reactions that I detailed in this tutorial and then always balance the equation to make sure that you are fulfilling the law of conservation of matter. This is Miss Augustine signing off. More tutorials to follow.